Hello everyone, I welcome you all back to another intrinsic and exclusive segment with your boy Alan Cash. Today I bring you good news from the confines of Canada and its immigration. Um, the Honorable Minister of Immigration and Refugee has brought us good news that, that we all can't keep quiet about. It's a very mouth-watering interesting news for all caregivers around the world who are looking to relocate to canada and even um transition to the pr but the good thing about this new reform is that caregivers will be given permanent residency once they arrive in canada wow that's an awesome news so the immigration minister mark miller announced a new upgraded caregiver pilot that will allow caregivers to continue coming to Canada while they work to make the caregiver pilot program permanent. So from his news or his update that he came about, this new this pilot program has been in existence since 2019. It actually isn't a new uh, pilot program. It's been in existence for the uh, past five years and um, um, it was due to end in June 2024. So um, what they did was they actually extended the pilot program for under two years. But in the last five years, there was no thing like permanent residency upon arrival. So they actually upgraded it to become permanent residency once you land in Canada. The new pilot program will grant home care professionals permanent residency as soon as they arrive in Canada. That is a very great news. And we thank them for that they will also be able to work with organizations that provide temporary or part-time care jobs um, to those who are semi-independent or recovering from an injury or illness so i want us to take a look at what or have a glance of what the honorable minister actually spoke about in his update today i'm very pleased to announce that we are launching new pilots that will provide permanent residency status for caregivers as soon as they arrive in Canada. The biggest change coming in these new pilots will be providing a one-step immigration process. Before caregivers first needed to get work permits and then obtain work experience before applying for permanent residency under the new rules, we we're simplifying the process and providing them with a clear, straightforward pathway to stay and care for our loved ones. The change will notably provide more autonomy for caregivers to leave workplaces with abusive situations and seek opportunities to advance in the care sector. And Lord knows I've heard a lot of those stories, not only today, uh, but in the past, as we've been listening and reaching out to people that have been providing that support and have been in abusive situations. I'm also pleased to share that we are lowering out of uh, fairness the language requirements to Canada Language Benchmark 4, uh, Benchmark 4 under these new PR on arrival pilots. Our aim is to strike a balance between breaking down the barriers ca caregivers face to get PR and selecting newcomers who will be resilient to changes in the labour market. Lowering the language requirements is a must-needed change uh, that we've heard directly from the community on and will align with other programs in my department uh, as well as provincial programs creating better consistency and fairness for all applicants. Caregivers will still have the needed language skills to work in the caregiving field. Let me be clear about that. Interesting. That is from the Honorable Mark Miller, as he said. Before, it used to be you get your, your, your job offer, you apply for your visa, then you get into Canada. Then you personally will apply for permanent residency. But now, this new um, update, it's actually making it very easy for all caregivers who will be landing in Canada because they will be getting your permanent residence because they actually want um, all the caregivers to actually stay and care for their loved ones. You know, unlike Africa where we actually have our nephews, our nieces, our brothers, our younger ones taking care of our older ones. It's, it's, it's a very opposite um, situation over here. Well, because um, all the all the all the children are like, um, um, I would like to use children, maybe teenagers, around eighteen years, sixteen, seventeen, yeah, 
once they they get to like 18 years they feel they are good and they are okay to start life on their own which is a very different situation from africa yes um especially if you are a guy you can actually maybe stay um, especially if you are a female you can stay with your parents till you get married at the age of maybe 25 or 27 but over here it's very different so you, so that is um from the honorable mark miller and we are actually very happy to you know have such great news from the camp of canada so i will be reading from the, the official website of the rlcc so we all know the eligibility criteria and um what to know about this whole pilot program so this is from the government of canada the rcc official website so as the heading or the title of the of this is canada announces new pilot programs to support caregivers and canadian families intends to make the caregiver program permanent this is from immigration refugees and citizenship canada the news release was on june 3rd in toronto yes and as we all as i said earlier they are looking to expand this and make it a permanent thing for all caregivers abroad to come in especially for people um I'm looking to like work in the home support work pilot sector and also home child care provider pilot yes so let's look at the eligibility criteria for this juicy opportunity so as it reads through these new pilot programs candidates in interested in working in canada's home care sector will be eligible to apply if they meet the following criteria let's remember from um ircc ministers address that every caregiver must meet um, a canadian language benchmark of four yes so that is the first one you need to attain a minimum of level four based on canadian language benchmark you need to hold the equivalent of a canadian high school diploma one will ask how would i be able to get a canadian high school diploma yes once you start the process you need to um, evaluate um, all your all your all your degrees and all, all your certificates and everything. You can do that through the um, World Evaluation Service, which is WES, or any other from the RCC official website. I will actually entreat you to use WES. Yes. Um, also, you need to have recent or relevant work experience. So if you um, if you've catered for any any person in their home, maybe home care nurse, um, whatever. These are all relevant experience. And if you have recent ones, you stand a chance, you know, yeah, that will give you like more points. And also you need to receive an offer for a full-time home care job. That is the most important thing. Um, one will ask, how would I be able to, you know, find a full-time home care job? Yes, you can do that through the, through the official website of Canada um search engine that is the job bank yes kindly let me know in, in the comment section if you want me to take you guys through the whole process of you know searching for um specifically the home care job and i'll um i'll hold a live session for that and we all do it together yes so you need to meet four eligible uh, eligibility criteria which is first you need to attain a level four based on the canadian language benchmark this is very easy to get. This is very, very easy to get. You need to hold the equivalent of Canadian high school diploma. Yes. And also the third, you need to have recent and relevant work experience. And lastly, which is the most important thing is to receive a full-time home care job offer, not a part-time. If you receive a casual, you do not meet it. If you receive a part-time, you do not meet it. You should receive a full-time it should be like a permanent full-time job offer from a canadian family yes so once you are um once you receive all that you are good to go and you should know you'll be in canada then you should be expecting what your permanent residency one once you arrive in canada so let's look at some of the quotes from um the immigration minister and also the honorable um richie Valdez, which is the minister of 
small business. So RCC Minister, he said, caregivers play a critical role in supporting Canadian families and our program needs to reflect their invaluable contributions as we work to implement a permanent caregivers program. These two new pilots will not only improve support for caregivers, but also provide families with quality care they deserve. This is interesting. It's very interesting because they actually know the kind of hassle and the kind of stress caregivers go through to make their families or their loved ones comfortable and have um, maybe um, live um, in their end, end of life days or maybe, um, you know, so many people are here living on palliative care and some are even on end of life. So as such, caregivers are the ones living with them and they face so many things that I can't actually mention them here. So they actually appreciate them for their hard work and as such, they are bringing these two new pilots to improve some support for the caregivers and also to help their families with the quality care they deserve. Because if the caregivers have um, um, like a free of mind, they are able to what, care for their loved ones very well. And from the Honorable Vichibardis, he said, after hearing stories and feedbacks from caregivers across Canada, I am proud that we are taking concrete actions to create policies to support the caregiver community. Generations of women and men have advocated for this important pathway and have cared for our families and loved ones here in Canada. Now is the time to return the care they deserve. Beautiful. Yes. So over the years, um, some caregivers have been doing this and now they feel it's the right time to show some love back to them and this is a very big one for them having your permanent residency once you get in canada is a big deal it's a very very big building so let's look at some quick facts about this new two pilot programs in june 2014 there was an inventory of over 60,000 persons for the living caregiver program today less than one percent of that living care program inventory remains that that means they've cleared um, over 59,400 people so less than six 600 people are actually still in the inventory program in the in the in the last decade this is a very very interesting thing to know as part of the 2024 to 2026 as i said this program is going to be running for two years so uh, as part of the you know immigration level plans for this new two pilot programs Canada will admit over 15,000 caregivers as permanent residents. Yes, they are going to give more than 15,000 people permanent residency. So the slots are open. My people, the slots are open. Please do what to check them. Apply for jobs. If you get, you are good to go with your families. Regardless of how many uh, how many husbands and how many children that you get, that you, that you have, you are all going to be permanent residents of Canada. As of April 30, 2024, nearly 5,700 caregivers and their family members have become permanent residents since the launch of the Home Child Care Pilot Program and the Home Support Worker Pilot in 2019. So from 20, 2019 to 2024, April 30th, which is the last five years, more than 5,000 people, caregivers and their families have received permanent residency status in Canada, which is a very great news to hear from that. So what we all say is thank you, Canada. Thank you to the Immigration of Canada for bringing this one for our people back home. Please, family, as I always say, let's not give up on the dream and hopes of relocating here in Canada. Not all of us will be able to afford $20,000, $30,000, $40,000 or $40,000 to, you know, go to school as such some of these programs are going to help you because you are coming into work and you coming into work you are not coming into work with maybe a temporary like um, um through a, a temporary status but you are actually coming in as a permanent resident which is a very uh, I, I would say it's a blessing many people here in canada are looking to have because um some people are actually in school like doing a four-year program, just just become permanent residents, and there is a pathway for people back home to actually hop on to become permanent residents without having to like go through the hassle of being in school, working part time, um, through PGWP, applying to express entry, 
it's your whole hustle on its own right yeah this is a very big blessing for people and i will entreat everyone to you know hop onto this if you have the relevant experience and the other three eligible criteria if you meet them please do what please do what to apply get your job and then you know just take it right from there yes thank you very much guys it's your boy alan cash please do what to subscribe to this youtube channel like this video so youtube can recommend to other people and please do what to share this interesting and, and um, fun hearing news you can also follow me on other social media platforms on instagram at alan underscore cash underscore tv facebook at alan cash page tiktok is alan cash thank you everywhere it's alan cash god bless you for watching and making time with me hope to see you in my next video have a great day i love you